Right, only within the last half hour ago I took a ride on this BSA A65 and came back a little disappointed with the oil pressure reading on the gauge. So I've disconnected the gauge because the owner has got a pipe there to connect up for the gauge but there's also the original switch and wire in there so I put that on. The reason being I wanted to see um, what the oil pressure light was doing. And as you can see, I've got the ignition on there. Um, you'll have to take my word for it. The engine is hot. I'll start it up now and we'll uh, hopefully see the oil pressure light go out. There we are, on a slow tick over with, I promise you, a hot engine and the oil pressure light is off. Now I'm going to grab the throttle quickly and hopefully snuff the engine out. Oh, try again. Oh, won't do it. Alright, I'm going to stall it. You can get hold of the camera. Keep it on that oil light. There, and I'll stall the engine. So the oil light's working. I'll just start up again, just to prove it. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, while my keen assistant holds the camera, I'm going to swap back from the oil pressure switch to the pipe to the gauge. And we'll see what the readings are on the gauge. Because if you go by the light, which is the original fitting, which lights up when the pressure drops below 7 psi, everything looks okay. And the um, figures I found for oil pressure on this, uh, according to um, supposedly BSA themselves, were between 3 and 4 thousand RPM. You want to see about 40 to 45 psi on a pressure gauge. Um, so we've seen it in excess of that to start with, but as the engine warmed up, the pressure did seem to fall somewhat, and I wasn't entirely happy with what I saw. Now I know that the engine is fully rebuilt and mechanically in very good condition because I did it myself, um, but it had been fitted with an oil pump prior to it coming here, a new oil pump, which may or may not be the culprit. Let's get these copper washers off there. Right, that's the oil pressure switch. Going there. And here's the adapter to take the oil pressure pipe. Screw that in. Where at least we we'll have continuity non stop from running it with the oil pressure light connected to having the gauge connected and hopefully be able to make a comparison and see what's going on. You have to bear with me because unfortunately this exhaust pipe is rather hot. Screwing the oil pressure gauge pipe on now. We'll be able to start up again in a moment. Let's see what we got there. Okay, the oil pressure gauge is connected now. And obviously, the engine is still hot. So, we'll see what happens on the gauge next. Tick over. <clears throat> now, according to that gauge, that's actually dropped to about 5 psi if you can believe the gauge. And 
yet the oil pressure light at 7 psi wasn't coming on. Now I'll give it the uh, 3000 rpm. Well, believe it or not, according to the uh, BSA information, the figure that we got there at three and four thousand RPM was respectable enough. That looks terrifying, and yet the oil pressure light is not coming on. So, draw your own conclusions as I will. Um, at very worst, there we stop now. And there's the pressure dropping to zero. At the very worst. Um, the oil pump could possibly be not at its best, although it seems to be a very recent fitment. Uh, time to speak to the owner, I think.